Hey guys, alright? Welcome everyone! In 1884, during the Berlin Conference, the great nations of the world decided to divide the Congo without even consulting the Africans. At the same time, King Leopold II of Belgium claimed the Congo Basin to extract large amounts of minerals and precious stones present in these lands. Five years later, he accumulated numerous debts in the name of the crown and sent Leon Rom to the country to steal the legendary diamonds of Oper. To get them, his army had to eliminate dozens of natives with their firearms until they found the Mobanga tribe. The warriors of this village were prepared for the arrival of the colonizers and attacked them with their arrows and rudimentary weapons. At the end of the battle, Leon became the sole survivor of his group and had the opportunity to negotiate with Chief Mobanga. The tribal leader says that if the foreigner can bring Tarzan to him, he will receive a chest of diamonds as a reward. Leon promises to accomplish this mission. A few years ago, Tarzan, the king of the jungle, left the African continent to live in London, England. After contacting Europeans, he discovered that he was the son of a woman and a British lord and that his true name was John Clayton III. One day, John is approached by a man named George Washington Williams, an American who came to England to ask for his help in investigating what King Leopold II has been doing with the natives since taking control of the Congo. There are rumors that people are being imprisoned and forced to extract all the wealth from their own land to hand it over to the Belgian government. Concerned about his friends and family in the forest, the man accepts the invitation to accompany George on this expedition. When he was just a baby, John and his parents got lost in the forest, and a few months later his mother fell ill. After Alice's death, her husband decided to bury her under the treehouse they had built, and on the same day, he was attacked. The man was attacked by numerous gorillas and did not survive. However, while the band attacked him, a female named Kala broke into the shelter and found a baby inside. At that point, the gorilla decided to adopt the human child and had to protect him from her own husband, who was the leader of the group and did not accept Tarzan as a member of his family. Upon arriving at his castle, John shares the news with Jane, and the woman says she will accompany him on the journey. He immediately tries to convince his wife that this is a bad idea, as she will be exposed to a multitude of dangers in the forest, but Jane does not care. Just like him, the woman spent most of her life living in Africa and can't wait to meet her friends again. Upon arriving in the Congo, George and the couple were greeted by three lionesses who hadn't seen John in several years and still remembered him. After greeting his longtime friends, he heads to the Boma tribe and is received by Chief Moviro. Upon seeing the couple, all the villagers begin to celebrate. Jane is thrilled to finally be able to be with her family after being away for so long. Reuniting with Simbu again, her childhood friend, the woman rushes to hug him and is taken to the old house where she was raised with her father. That night, as they gather around a campfire, the group begins to sing The Legend of Tarzan. For many years, the natives thought that the king of the jungle was an evil spirit who controlled the animals of the forest, but the truth is that Tarzan always had great respect for all creatures and thus learned to conquer them. His gorilla mother, Kala, loved him as her own son, and his brother, Akut, treated him with kindness and respect. Tarzan considered all men his enemies, as other tribes hunted his band as a rite of passage. One day, while playing with some native children in the forest, Jane saw him for the first time, and the two had their first contact. Since then, they have never been separated. On his first night in the tribe, while sleeping next to his beloved, John hears strange footsteps approaching the hut where they are, and goes out to protect them from evil. Not far away, Leon arrived in the village and made all the natives hostages. Leon goes to interrogate Chief Moviro, who refuses to provide any information about Tarzan's whereabouts. After eliminating some of the invaders, John runs to protect the tribal leader, but is captured while Moviro is shot in the head. Furious, the king of the jungle tries to retaliate and attacks the mercenaries, but they unite and use a rope to tie his entire body. After selecting some tribe members to be taken prisoner, Leon orders his men to set fire to the village, and John discovers that his wife has also been captured. After managing to capture their main target, the group is on their way back to the boat when they are surprised by George, a skilled American marksman who manages to eliminate most of their enemies single-handedly. Upon hearing the gunshots, the rest of the tribe goes after the criminals, and the guys carrying John have to leave him behind to escape. Despite failing to capture Tarzan, Leon takes Jane and other members of the Boma tribe as prisoners to ensure that John will come after them and plans to set a trap to capture him once again. 
After the invaders depart, George goes into the forest to search for John and manages to save his friend, who was about to suffocate due to the rope that had been tied around his neck. The next morning, the tribe mourns the loss of their leader, and John devises a plan to rescue all the people who were taken. That morning, for some mysterious reason, the man knows that Leon went there to capture him and take him to Mobanga to be used as a bargaining chip. So he gathers some of the warriors of the tribe to accompany him on this rescue mission and plans the shortest route to reach the enemy tribe before Leon does. Upon hearing the plan, George decides to accompany him and can feel the hatred pulsing through John's body for the man who captured his wife. Unlike Tarzan and the other natives of these lands, the American does not have great physical conditioning and ends up falling behind on the way. After a few hours of walking, the group reaches the edge of a cliff, and George is completely exhausted. When he asks how they will catch the train traveling at 65 km per hour, he sees his companions jump off the cliff and gathers the courage to go after them. The men then run along the tree trunks using vines to swing and reach the vehicle. Seeing that George will not be able to complete this stage of the mission, John decides to help him and asks him to hold onto his back. Then, as the train approaches, they jump quickly and manage to reach it and land on it safely. The duo sees a group of chained men and realizes that the train is for transporting the prisoners. So, Tarzan decides to descend into the carriage and confront the many soldiers to get the keys to the chains. During the battle, he manages to eliminate a large part of the enemy army alone, and his companions capture the engineer responsible for building the railways that connect one corner of the country to the other. When the works are finished, King Leopold II will have control of the entire country and will imprison all the natives to suck all the available resources in the region. Leon Ram is the one who planned all this and is in charge of the operations. Soon, if his plan succeeds, he will be appointed Governor General. Upon hearing this, John remembers that his wife was taken by this man, and his concern for her grows even more. The first time they saw each other, he was scared and ran into the forest. Curious to find out who that wild man was, Jane followed him and ended up being chased by a gorilla. To protect her from the attacks, John used his own body as a shield and had to be taken to the village to be treated, as he was severely injured. While waiting for her husband to come rescue her, Jane is invited to dinner with Leon, but is warned that if she tries anything, her friend Simbu, who is in a suspended cage, will be thrown into the river and drowned. During dinner, Jane compliments the rosary that the man carries on his wrist, and he tells her that he won it as a gift when he was only nine years old. When he went to Jerusalem, his father found that beautiful necklace made of Madagascar spider silk and decided to give it to Leon. At that moment, the man gets up to get some seasoning for his food, and Jane tries to stab him in the back. However, he manages to act in time and uses the rosary to hold the woman's wrist, preventing her from moving her arm. Then they both go back to eating as if nothing had happened, and Leon tells her about his plans to hand over Tarzan to Chief Mobanga. Although he has accepted the mission to capture the king of the jungle, the man does not know why Mobanga wants to eliminate him so strongly, and Jane reveals that her husband took the life of his only son. Upon hearing this, Leon is stunned, and Jane says that John will do even worse to the wretch who dared to touch the woman he loves. After helping to rescue some natives who were being forced to work as prisoners, John continues his journey, and George decides to accompany him to the end of his mission. As they walk through the jungle, they come across a flock of ostriches, and George plans to ride one of these animals to move more quickly. However, John warns him and says that if he does so, George runs the serious risk of having his body torn apart by the gigantic claws of the bird. So, the duo has to keep moving until they reach a part of the forest that belongs to the gorillas. In the territory of these intimidating animals, George prepares to shoot but changes his mind when John says that if the man eliminates one of them, the rest of the pack will only stop attacking him when he eliminates the group's leader. The leader is known as Koot, a gorilla who once considered Tarzan his brother but is now just a deserter and will have to fight him if he wants to obtain his permission to cross the forest. Despite growing up in that tribe and being an extremely strong man, John is unable to defeat his primate brother, who has much more strength and fighting ability. So, after hitting his deserter brother several times, the gorilla bites his shoulder and backs away towards George. Following John's instructions, the man bows to the leader, and the animal stops attacking him. After demonstrating his sovereignty and defeating the king of the jungle in a fair fight, Coot leaves, and George rushes to help his friend tend to his wound. After cleaning the wound, he uses ants to stitch John's skin, and both receive a distinguished visit from a family of elephants. 
The matriarch is happy to see John again and introduces him to her baby. The group then sets off, and the two men go in search of a safe place to spend the night. The next morning, Leon and his team of mercenaries continue their journey towards Mobangus tribe and reach a stretch of river full of hippos. At that moment, Jane is released from her chains to have another conversation with Leon and starts talking to her friend in a native language completely unknown to the outsiders. Furious at the woman's attitude, one of the men releases the cage, and Simbu falls into the water. Seeing him in danger, Jane immediately attacks the guards and jumps into the river. When they pull the cage back, the criminals realize that she managed to save the native and is about to reach the shore. Jane narrowly escapes the attack of a fierce hippopotamus and runs through the forest alongside Simbu. Knowing that Leon will follow her trail, the woman asks her friend to flee in the opposite direction and ends up finding Akut's tribe. Jane quickly bows to the leader of the group and then spots Leon's gang approaching. Concerned about the monkeys, she decides to go back to the boat with the enemy, as long as he promises not to harm the animals. However, as the two walk away, a man shoots one of the gorillas, followed by his companions, who begin a brutal attack on the primates. At that moment, John hears the gunshots and, focusing, hears Jane's voice shouting to stop shooting. So he quickly jumps off the cliff and uses a vine to swing through the trees and reach where his wife is faster. Seeing many members of his family being eliminated, Coot rushes towards the invaders to kill them, and together with Tarzan, they manage to defeat them. John runs to where Mobanga's tribe is and fights against some of them, seeing Leon and his men leaving with diamonds and taking Jane. However, he soon starts a duel with the tribe leader, moment when Jorge appears with his rifle. During the fight, John declares that he is not Mobanga's enemy and says that it is Leon who needs to be eliminated, as he will soon return to take possession of these diamond-rich lands. Blinded by rage against John in recent years, Mobanga does not listen to him, so John needs to immobilize him and puts a knife to his neck. Now that he has the tribe chief as a prisoner, John has the opportunity to negotiate with them, at which point George appears in an attempt to reconcile with Mobanga. John reveals the real reason for eliminating his son and says that the young man had attacked his mother. Suddenly, Kut appears to support his brother Tarzan, and along with his pack, they surround all the men of the tribe. After explaining the situation to Mobanga, George manages to make him realize that Leon is the real threat. Again, John goes after him, at which point he gives another war cry, and Jane is relieved to know that her husband survived the tribe's attack. Later, the invaders arrive at the camp, and John decides to rely on the help of his feline friends to send a herd of buffalo to invade the place where the colonizer's army is taking shelter. Terrified by the sudden arrival of hundreds of animals, the soldiers decide to abandon their weapons and flee, while the buffaloes destroy everything in their path. Amidst the chaos, the lions also join the battle and Leon decides to flee with the diamonds, taking Jane as a prisoner. Forced to run towards the ocean, the woman shouts for her husband, and John decides to hitch a ride with the buffaloes to reach her. After climbing onto the bridge, he sees his beloved hanging on a hook and rushes to save her before Jane falls and is trampled by the herd. John manages to rescue her and safely delivers her into George's arms, then goes after Leon, who orders his men to destroy the bridge in an attempt to stop him. However, John manages to survive and swims towards his enemy. At that moment, George finds a machine gun and decides to use it to shoot at the boat, forcing the entire crew to jump into the water. What they don't realize is that there are extremely dangerous crocodiles living in these waters. When he finally reaches the ship, John finds no one and concludes that everyone, including Leon, managed to escape. So, he grabs the chest with the diamonds to return it to Mobanga's tribe and is surprised by his enemy who uses a rosary to tie around his neck. Shortly after, Leon grabs the chest with the aim of taking it to the ship, but first tries to finish off John. As the crocodiles approach the sinking ship, John grabs his opponent by the legs and, after breaking the rope around his neck, throws him into the water. At that moment, the missionary sent by King Leopold is devoured in the ship they are on, which explodes shortly after. Seeing the defeat of their enemies, the natives celebrate, and Simbu is among them, giving his cry for freedom. After witnessing the explosion, Jane is worried about her husband and wonders if he managed to escape alive. Then, to her surprise, John appears behind her, and the couple celebrates being together again. Upon finding George again, John hugs him and thanks his friend for all the help since they arrived in the country. For the first time in history, rival tribes unite to celebrate and commemorate the fact that their country has been freed from the power of the colonizers. 
After all his adventures in Africa, George made numerous accusations against Leopold II, the King of the Belgians, in 1890. Thanks to the witnesses and documents he gathered, George Washington Williams managed to prove Leopold's abuses of power and prevented the natives from continuing to be imprisoned to generate wealth for the foreign country. A year has passed since Tarzan and Jane returned to Africa, and since then they have never returned to England. On a beautiful afternoon, John is sitting on the grass with his friends from the Boma tribe when a group of women announces the birth of his child. Jane has spent the last few hours in labor and has given birth to a perfectly healthy baby, a cause for celebration for the entire village. As he holds the baby for the first time, John is moved and celebrates the birth of his first child with his wife. Now that he's back home, he has the opportunity to strengthen his bonds with the family that raised him and re-establish the connection he had lost with his gorilla brother.